This video is designed to show you how to use this Nearpod. It's the same Nearpod we've been using in class, but this time you can use it in your own time and jump forward and back through the Nearpod. There's a couple of things we want to focus on, and that is how you're going to use the Collaborate board and how you're going to use Quizlet on this. Remember that this course is going to give you the chance to review and apply some of the key design principles we've been discussing in class. It's a real good chance to help your classmates with their poster as well. And when you comment on their poster using the terms, it'll help you learn and apply them to your own work as well. You will be marked on the comments that you make and the design terms you use, but the main way you'll be marked is how it affects your end portfolio. The Collaborate Board is really important. It's anonymous so you can freely comment, but please follow the instructions at the top and appropriate comments only. Your comments are marked, remember. So what do we do on the Collaborate Board? There's two things to do. First of all, you need to write your name quickly and then drop your poster in. Each time you go to one of these Collaborate Boards, that's the first thing you should do. The second thing is you're going to comment on another student. Only respond to people with no comments, otherwise there'll be too many comments on people. And then I'm finding a poster that no one else has commented on. See, someone has commented on Huyen, so I think I'll choose Banksy. I like Banksy's one here. I will start with his name. Always start with the, the name of the person who created the poster, and then I'm going to write my suggestions and post it. Now let's have a look at the Quizlet review. This is a reminder of the terms we've used in class. You can sc scroll through the terms and you can see if you can remember them before clicking. Or you can use the learn function on the side of Quizlet. There's lots of different options to practice the concepts. One of my favorite practice activities is match. Can you beat my time? The next slide is collaborate too. Follow the same process as before. Upload your poster again with your name, exactly the same as the first time. In Collaborate 2, try and use the visual design words and concepts from the Quizlet. Remember again to start with the name of the person. The next section is Typography. This is the same as before. Practice with Quizlet, then go to the Collaborate space. Drop your poster and your name in Collaborate. Comment on another student that no one else has commented on and then just continue with the rest of the Nearpod. The instructions are pretty clear.